So, Holly, if I made a private plan just for myself, I used it for a year, but then I decided, you know what? I actually need one of my coworkers to help me, help work with me on this plan. I need to be able to assign her tasks. How is there a way to do that? I know that there's yes. a way to do that, but can we show yes. the audience how you can? Absolutely. So here's the the place where I want to say that there isn't a lot of kind of like in between, but you can take a plan that you've been working on. And some of this could be like you described, oh, now I need other people to have access to this. Or maybe you create a plan and you build it out and it's you've worked on it for two weeks and now it's ready from a life cycle perspective to get added to the team or, or added to a group or create a new group. You can click on this view and add members option. So this plan, as you saw previously, private to me, my, my demo user, Alan, I clicked on the little plus people icon up here. And now it's, I can either create a group. So now here is where I can say, I this five week plan, it's ready for prime time. And all I can do is add in people's names and create a brand new group. Or if I have an existing team that I'm already a member of where I've built this plan out and now I'm ready to share it with my the rest of my team, I can shift it out of my personal workspace into a team workspace. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my sales well, real, and marketing. Real quick, Holly, too. Oh, yeah. That, this, is, this is actually an interesting ad. So if you go back to create group, so if, again, you created this for yourself and you were only using it for you, but you were starting to invite more people to it because you wanted to collaborate, mm -hmm. you can actually change the name of the plan here yes, before so you create Yeah, so if you're, if you're like, ooh, I don't, I'm not. Five week plan made sense to me, but it doesn't make sense to other people. Yep. I could change that name. And you can even change, you know, you, you can, when you click that little pencil icon, you kind of get into, you know, what it was before, but then you can modify it before you throw it into a group. Always yep. good to know that you can do that because I talk about this a lot in, in some of our sharing and, and kind of collaboration stuff. The things that make sense to you might not make sense to other people. So and as an IT that, that's my TED talk on naming channels in Teams. As a, as a pre as a as an ex IT system administrator, please use the description field when you fill it out. <laughs> so many groups and organizational <laughs> units and identity information always just gets they skip it, and then no one ever knows what they're looking at ten years later. So yes, even if it's a short description, it's better than no description. <laughs> right. So so I just added this to my sales and marketing group and now i can see all of the people that now have access to this plan so and i'll just quickly show you here if i go to teams and i go to sales and marketing now the plan doesn't automatically show up in some channel but if i said i want to add i'm going to click on add a tab and go to planner I can use now the existing plan for our group, which is that nice. plan I created. So I want to make sure that everyone's clear that there's one extra hop that you make to add that plan to a particular channel. All we did was we said, we've taken this plan that was private to this person and now made it available to this group. So if you want to look at it through your team, if you go in through the planner app online, whatever it is, you can get access to it now. So I'll I'll add that to my team and now I can that plan that was my personal private plan is now available to my team and accessible to anyone in my team.